to Writing Second Grade on this Monday. Today we are going to talk about another part of speech, a part of speech that we are going to use to help make our writing more exciting. So the parts of the speech are different categories that words in our English language can fall into. For example, we talked about nouns last week. We talked about verbs as well, but we're going to review nouns. Nouns is a part of speech that refers to all the words in our English language that are a person, like our superhero, a place, like Casafina, an animal, like a lion, or a thing, like a bottle of glue. All of these are nouns. We are going to learn about another part of speech that goes with a noun. A noun is just a single word. It's by itself, but we can add other words to it. We are going to be adding what we call adjectives. That's a big word. Can we say it together? Adjectives. One more time. Adjectives. Adjectives describe a noun. So they go with a noun. Always in front, and they describe that noun, that person, place, animal or thing. To describe means to tell about, to explain, to give more information. In math, a lot of times I ask you to explain, to describe what you did. I want you to tell me how you solved the problem. Here, we are going to give more information about a noun. Tell more about it through words that are adjectives. We're going to be descriptive. The kinds of words that fall into the category of adjectives could answer questions when we're talking about our five senses, our five senses that we have. So it could be, what does a noun look like? What does something look like to you? Is it big? Is it small? Is it green? Is it blue? What does it look like? Or, what does something smell like? Does it smell good? Does it smell sweet? Does it smell stinky? What about, what does something sound like? Sound like? Is it loud? Is it really quiet? Is it beautiful, like a beautiful song? Or what does something taste like? What does it taste like? That usually has to do with food. Is it sweet? Is it salty? Is it sour? And then what about, what does something feel like? Like if we touched it with our hands, is it soft? Is it rough? Is it prickly? All of these words that we use to answer those questions are adjectives. They're describing a noun, giving more information about what it looks, smells, sounds, tastes, or feels like. With nouns, we can use our five senses to describe a lot of them, but there's more to the nouns than just these five. If we're talking about a person, someone who's alive, we can describe them by talking about their heart, what kind of person they are, or how they make us feel. So take someone in your family, could be anyone, mom, dad, brother, sister, grandparents, aunts and uncles, cousins, anyone. What kind of person are they? Are they happy? Are they nice? Are they friendly? Are they excited? Exciting. All of these are also adjectives because they describe someone's heart or how they make you feel and what kind of person they are. They give more information about a person. So all of these words that we've been talking about, they're all adjectives. They make a noun more exciting by describing it. So let's take a look at how we're going 
going to use our adjectives with our noun today. Let me bring these down. Here's our learning goal. I can describe nouns with adjectives to create a picture in my reader's mind. So our main goal is we're going to be describing nouns, explaining nouns by using adjectives. And the reason we're doing this for our writing is to create a picture in my reader's mind. When we're writing, there's usually no pictures that go along with it. So in order to create a picture, we have to use our words and be descriptive through the use of adjectives. If you just wrote, there is an apple, your reader would have no idea what kind of apple that is, what the apple looks like, what it tastes like. With adjectives, we can add to our writing and the reader can picture exactly what kind of apple you're talking about. So that's what we're going to do today and why adjectives are so important. They can make our writing so much more exciting to read. So let's practice. What is this a picture of? It's an apple. It's a normal apple you eat. But let's describe this apple with some adjectives. So, what does this apple look like? What does it look like? You could say it's round. It's red. These are all adjectives. Talking about what it looks like. It's a round apple. A red apple. So what does the apple smell like? Can you really smell an apple? You could say it smells fruity. It's a fruit. It smells fruity. Well, since this apple's not really alive, we're going to skip that one. What about sounds like? When you bite into an apple, what does it sound like? It could sound loud or it can sound crunchy. You can make a crunch. It's crunchy. Okay, what about, what does an apple taste like? When you eat it, what does it taste like? It could taste sweet. It could taste yummy. If you don't like apples, then it would taste icky. But I love apples, so I'm going to go with yummy. What about when you touch the outside of an apple? When you pick one up, what does it feel like? They're usually pretty smooth. They have like really smooth skin. So all of these words we just brainstormed are all adjectives. They describe and explain more about what kind of apple this is. And when you write with these adjectives, your writing is so much more exciting and you can really picture what you're talking about. Okay, let's try another one. What about this? These are the mountains. We have a road leading up. There's a bunch of trees and grass below the mountain. Think about your five senses. How could you describe this mountain with adjectives? It looks like it looks big. It looks huge. Mountains are usually huge. What else? How do they smell? Mountain air is usually really fresh. It's like clean. Let's say they're fresh. What about sounds like? In the mountains, it's usually quiet. There's not a lot out there. So the mountains could be quiet. What about taste? Can you taste the mountains? No, you don't want to go licking the mountains. What about if you could touch them though? If you could touch these mountain peaks, what do you think they would feel like? 
So they'd be really rough. Or they'd be pointy. You see those little points, they're peaks. They could be pointy. So all of these are beautiful words that we can use to describe the mountains. The huge mountains, the quiet mountains. It gives us more of a picture and an image in our minds. Okay, here's my eraser. Let's look at another one. What about a horse? How could we describe a horse with adjectives? What do you think you could say? Think about your senses. This horse, it has brown fur, and I think horses are beautiful. Nay, I think horses are pretty loud. What else? When you touch a horse, like its hair, it's usually pretty smooth. They're not too rough. They're usually smooth. What about one more? How else could you describe the horse? to 
describe with three adjectives each. That means all together, you're going to come up with nine adjectives. So once you describe them, I want you to write them down in your notebook. Write down what object you are describing and then give me three adjectives. I'm not going to see all your objects, so you have to tell me about them through your writing and through your adjectives. So you're going on a scavenger hunt. You're finding three objects in your house and you're going to describe them with three separate adjectives. Paint that mental picture in my mind as I read your work. Try to get as creative as you can with adjectives. Describe as much as you want. Okay, super scholars, I'm super excited for you to work on making your writing so beautiful and get to object 